other one was um, about emails, and they're trickier in lockdown. I think, or during the time of COVID, once or twice I replied to you. Now you say, "Dear Simon, blah 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 blah, yours, Phil Friend," and I've written back going, "Thanks, that's great, son." And and I think you thought, "Bummy, he's rude," but I think that speed of turnaround is changed certain things. So. I don't know whether the email, email etiquette has changed a little bit as well. Do you know what I think you're making me think about? And when you said to me that these, these bits of news had come across your desk sort of thing, I, we've forgotten the phone. We've forgotten just to pick the phone up and say, Simon, thanks for your note. Um, rather than reply, you know, I just wanted to say this, 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 and this, because it avoids any, you know, you can ask me then whether, oh, are you, did I upset you with that? I mean, you and I have had those calls actually, where we've actually spoken to each other because it was clear that one of us had either misunderstood something or felt angry about something. I, I just wonder, and, and this, this, this has other issues. At the RI, at Research Institute for Disabled Consumers, we are really concerned to, engage with as many disabled people as we possibly can now you, you may know that ipso mori recently did a survey which showed that there were about 3.9 million dis people in britain who didn't know how to turn a device on let alone operate it and so on and so forth but they do know how to use the phone and it's kind of saying there are parts of our world our communities where we've forgotten that we have got phones and we can ring people and talk to them direct. Now it's not direct response to your point about email, but I do think emails have been used before COVID. We used to use emails to avoid having to phone somebody with bad news. Do you remember people used to be get tweeted to be told they've been made redundant and stuff? There's a lot in there, but my, the, the, the point being a quick reply via email, I'm not going to call you. That's the whole point. Yeah. I haven't got time and I want to do a one liner just to acknowledge it. And for me, I've therefore been very polite and respectful because I've responded. Mm. The idea that I'm then going to pick up the phone and have a chat, no, nah, ain't going to happen. Uh, I take your separate point that the phone has become very redundant, but I think you're right also. That was pre-COVID. That was um, the move away from landlines and the traditional phone has been kicking around for a while. I do know of people who have done voluntary work during this time, and that would, might include phoning people who are on their own, having a 20 minute conversation, they probably are your 3.9 million people because they don't have other communication devices. So is it forgetting that we've got the phone or is it, I just don't want to use it? Well, I think you're clarifying something for me. I mean, I, mean, I get totally get your point about, yeah, thanks for your note, I'll get back to you, boom, fine. Um, that's not the issue. I think the issue is um, we've all been swept along with Zoom We've all been swept along with using technology, you know, apps and all sorts. And yet there's really serious number of people out there that don't engage in that way. And it's how do we continually make sure they're part of the conversation? I suppose that's, that's the global point about it. And I do think, you know, now when I do have a phone call, I find it odd that I can't see the person. Uh, I agree. There is sometimes the video call is turned into phone calls becoming a pain in the backside because you can't just call 10 minutes. We're done. You have to pre-book it, get ready, make sure you don't look a fool, all this sort of stuff. And you're like, that's not good. I had a conversation with a neighbor and this was an awkward conversation. Uh, she's not elderly, elderly, but she's a bit older than me. And she said, oh, I haven't learned how to use Zoom. And I don't know whether she was implying that I should teach her, but I said, well, have you spoken to family or something? It eventually got to a point, she has a, uh, a, a nephew who's at university, and I said, well, call him, he'll teach you in 10 minutes. She went, I'll speak to him in the summer when he's finished. And I'm thinking, do you want to learn? Because that's not great. You, you can't, by the summer, with a bit of luck, they might be talking again. So I don't know whether there's a fear as well, but I, I, the, the technology we're talking about isn't complex. You just need that 10 minutes, someone talking you through it. Both my parents have learned how to do Zooms and wear headphones and all sorts. Yeah, and I think that's true for a lot of people. I think the, the same survey I mentioned said that the a third of the population now felt comfortable using <laughs> Zoom. So I think the other side, we don't want to expand the conversation yet further, but there is a genuine bunch of people out there who are very worried about 
being scammed and being ripped off and yes. so they stay away from the internet they don't go online for those reasons so yeah it's a complex subject but i just think we perhaps we've all jumped on the zoom stuff and all that uh, when when it means that for many people that they're being left behind again and that with me well then let's train them up because there's nothing to be fearful of it's not that difficult i know barclays were doing those digital eagles so you could just rock up and someone will teach you how to use tech i think that's a fabulous idea yeah, that, no, that's inclusion I think the post office did something like that a while back too didn't they oh everyone's done it to be oh honest. it's all it's awesome common, isn't it? why isn't everybody used to it what's the matter with them why 3.9 million get off your backside <laughs> <laughs> well at least we're safe in knowing they're not listening to this <laughs> I, <did> this <laughs> I, I just <laughs> it's become a very horrible person. <laughs>